So this is a reactive pad drill going from extreme close quarters to close quarters, yes? And this distance you can now use and utilize your other tools and hit as much as you can to get the subject off you. So if you go to the floor, objective, objective is to stand up as soon as you can. This is not sport, this is street based, yes? So you wanna get to your feet. This is for your student also. A visual and a cognitive speed drill, so her brain needs to recognize what tool is best. With principle in mind, with closest weapon, nearest viable target, yes? So if you, for example, you make a bump and a hammer fist, that's good. But maybe in some cases, a bump and an elbow is better. Yeah, it depends on what position. So when you say go, you fill it in with one tool. When you say blitz, you Beat the bed with every tool in mind until the thread is done or off you. Understand? I close it down with something like this and I say go. There is no pad available. So if I say go, she needs to make create, she needs to create distance, like go, move and now I present this. Let's say she has a tight clinch. Now we do the same, I'll say go. Boom. Now she throw the head and catch. Not option she could be, she gouge. Another option B, she used for example a bicep pop or a shoulder pop. Boom. To create distance. Understand? So that's what she could do. If I make her gouge my eye for training, she's going to put her fingertip on my eyeball, push it on my eyeball. If she has sharp nails like her, she's going to wipe the eyebrow, otherwise it's too much. I will find the energy going back. She needs to utilize that moment, yes? You say go, boom. She now head spot, head spot, boom. And now I will lose a pet, I just drop it. And now I grab a t-shirt like this, and I'll still say go. Keep on going, keep on going. Yes, it's the best tool, or you should make an evol uh, evolving boom. Or an elbow, boom. You see? So train your student. The best way in my book was, she's bumping, boom, head bar, boom, elbow. Boom, that's the most lethal choice, yes? Let's say now, I find an attachment because that's why I lost the pad. I fall down, I can pull her against me. Now the drill continues, yes? your drill so first when I say go fill in one tool then at one point I will say blitz and she will keep on blitzing the pads until the thread is done yes So first, you flow. When I say go, one tool. When I say blitz, great distance, and blitz through the target until the thread's done, yes? So what I can add now is, again, the two pads. What I would do now, halfway through, is maybe I'm on top of her. She says go and make distance. She maybe fills in the tool. But while she's doing that, boom. I will lose one pad and grab. Now I'll say blitz, boom, boom, boom. And now I pull her against me, yes? Now we continue. So we're gonna flow again. When I say go, she finds target again. She can gouge the pad, she can bite the pad, she can elbow the pad, it simulates the head. 
to get up on her, uh, on her feet as soon as she can. So I'm not teaching her to go for the arm bar, I teach her from a shit position to pound the pad that is simulating the head. Couch, bike, elbow, knee, everything is possible, yes? So now we're gonna extend this drill by flowing, same flow, and then bring it to the floor, yes? But not that she is bringing me to the floor, but with the objective that, or you get a hit, you fell on the floor, now fight continues, or I had an attachment, or you had an attachment, and you knock me down and I pull you against me, or I am a grapper, hit and grab you, and I'll snatch you on the floor, and now fight continues, with the objective to stand up on your feet as soon as you can. Oh! 